Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for your Tuesday night fix of Bob TV, baby. Oh yeah, I know you guys are chosen. Uh, I'm all done laying up parts. With the exception, this have to get it, got it molded. I had my glass on this yesterday, guys, but I started uh, checking in and it was too short. So I had to add a piece. I glassed this side this morning. I glassed this one a while ago. And it'll set up for a couple more hours. I'm going to try and get these pieces on tonight. And I get some primer on it. So I'm going to get that molded the next day or so. Plus, me had a couple parts, baby. Got my tanks all done. See what I did is I ended up just putting a coat of resin on all of them with that peel ply surface and uh, them bad boys ain't leaking nothing <laughs> but I got them all done and uh, found a really good way to put my holes in and I'm going to show you guys and uh, I got I found a carbon fiber tube that is just perfect Bam. for uh, these ends fits that just perfect stopper goes inside all right cut them these three quarter inch pieces Bam. No, I'm stuck in the front there I cut me a hole cut me a hole cut it's a lot of fuzz around that hole but I ain't even going to try and cut it that's going to hold this piece in there like nobody's business when I, when I epoxy that in there and I want to epoxy it uh, here basically I wanted to cut this hole so I didn't get no crud on the inside of these tanks and uh, uh, I could clean them out once I get this on there I could clean them out before I glue them together before we don't throw it in. Alright, I found a really good way to do this. Worked it out just great. Bam, hole saw. This is a good hole saw. It's actually full. I need to clean it out. I've had this thing for many years. But it fills up with wood chunks and anything else you drill. got a turbine on the way guys all is shipped it out today countdown is on baby we got a month <laughs> I got to get busy I'm going to be paint next week I'm going to get all this little stuff done I actually got them fins cut off uh, the old Heavy blasters and things were heavy too, man. Got them all cleaned up, they look brand new, don't they? I used my, my rotary file. Now guys, this I can put this on my drill or I chuck it up in my uh, dock co. You know, my dock co deal. Harbor Freight, these things are about 15 bucks. But this thing, this is what I cut. Uh, the grooves in the aluminum spar with man this thing chews up aluminum and spits it out and uh, worked really good in here 
And it was just going and it was just grinding it out, man. Now it's just smooth, it looks brand new. So they're ready to glue on the blasting tubes. Guys, I weighed these things. I weighed these compared to the new ones, and they're about half the weight. These things are kind of chunky. They're about a pound. They're kind of chunky. Someone's asking me about putting fuel in there. You know, it could be done easily, even like on the center tank on the bottom. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. You could do it there. But you don't want to put that much weight on your wings, you know. Ollie said he's tried that before. And uh, just, you're better off keeping the, the, the load in the center. No, but check this out, okay. This is a uh, two layers or one layer of, of six ounce cloth and two layers of that Kevlar. And uh, I mean, really nice thing. Now I weigh, I put two pieces together and weigh them against to this and uh, a lot lighter. And, uh, a lot lighter. This is a this one's a, a layer, two layers of six ounce and two layers of ten ounce cloth, all wet layer, no fuel cloth. And this is, it did not leak, but it's a heavy tank. These weigh, these weigh half of that tank weighs. So we're going to lost more weight there, Ollie, old buddy. Now this ain't. quite big enough for this hole here, but see it, it made a pretty decent hole. There's some fuzz around there, but it's all right. We just need to go one side bigger. takes the load off of this. You know what I mean? And it's less liable to leak. It won't cut into your stopper. And you're just better off doing this. Now I've seen some inserts on DreamWorks. 15 bucks for three of them where the air power ones were more. Tom Cook ones are even there. Uh, 50 bucks for one tank. <laughs> but uh, this in the large line I believe is fine. I got the Super big tubing into my stoppers and a 3 sixteenths fuel line, and it will be fine. I, even the vents, I use that big 3 sixteenths stuff, and I drill these things out, them stoppers, 
drill them out and use big old brass tubes going through there. And And great big clumps. Like the big heavy pumps here. See, this is all big, big tubing. And see, I like to put brass tubing here so this fuel line can't double up and go into the front. You know, like if you're in a dive, if you just got solid uh, fuel line, them tend to double up and go in the front. And, uh, bam. And the big 3 16th fuel line. And it worked just great. I, I even drill out these stoppers, guys, where these clumps. See, I drill them clumps out as big as you can get them. That gets your pump voltage down because you don't have to work on drawing the fuel out. Okay, what I'm going to do is make sure I've drilled everything right in line. Okay, then just one more home on this one here. And uh, we'll be fine. I could even put these put this stuff together before I actually glue my tanks together to make sure I get it all just perfect the way I want it. Then glue the top half on. And then gotta sit there and work through this hole. <laughs> so uh that's what I got going. Just tried to step her a bit the first time, but it was cutting way too much material. You know, it didn't. It took a little time. It had to work at getting it out. I mean, it was a, I was amazed how easy this cut through. But if you don't punch this stuff, your drill bit will just go. All over the place. same epoxy. I'll hit that on the inside with my dot toe and uh, sand this carbon tubing. Make me a little bit thicker mix. And it'll be just like a high salt man. It'll just all become bonded as one. Well, that's a nice slight fuel cells Ollie. All done Ollie. All ready for that big old turbine. Good to go, sir. We get these tanks glued together. Uh, get them plastered put together. I want to get all this. Then I'll get all this body work done. I got a little bit to do to them wings. I can hit these plasters and get all my body work done.
done, get the rivets on the wings at the end of the week, start on them and be done by next week. Next week I'm going to start painting, buddy. Next week's paint week. <laughs> by the end of next week. So it actually gives me a week and a half. <laughs> Now it'll be done painted, buddy. Well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be painted. It's gonna look good. Okay? And uh, that's all I got. But I'm gonna keep on trucking away and uh, get some of this stuff, get this little stuff done. Get my uh, my wing pylon molded. I gotta do that. That won't take long, guys. I can do both sides of them in a day. As warm as it is outside, that resin will set up really fast. Uh, do one side. I have it ready at night. Next morning, do one side. Throw it out in the oven outside. <laughs> a couple hours, it'll be set. Turn it over, do the other side. And the next day, I can pull out a couple parts. <clears throat> That's the only thing I'm lacking, guys. I got everything else done. No more resin work. Just that... Uh, wing pile on and uh, that's where I am I'm going to keep on trucking baby and we're going to get this done so we will see you back in the shop on the countdown to Kentucky bam